Valentine's Day is a day filled with all kinds of love, from friendship to family and even significant others. Love is in the air this week. Brian Espenson is a junior here at Millersville. Throughout his life, he has had his fair share of struggles, one of those struggles being his sexuality. Right, Brian, so on a scale of 1 to 10, how gay are you? <laughs> I'd say about a 7.5. Ryan has come a long way since middle school, where he first realized he wasn't straight. He is also has given thought into his sexuality and what it meant, means to him. I think that whatever, whatever people think they are can be adjusted. Ryan has been a student here for three years now, and he's definitely made quite a few friends along the way who support him. My, my family has done a little to help me. Mainly, mainly my sister has helped me. Um, but I don't know, my friends have been very accepting. My friends have helped me. I've had, um, I feel like I've definitely had a couple of teachers uh, help me out throughout this journey. Just because he has a strong support system doesn't mean he hasn't questioned himself. There have been times where I was like, I was like, oh, maybe I'm straight. Oh, maybe I'm just gay. And it's like, it's like, oh, maybe I just, there, there have been times where like, I didn't think I was attracted to um, anyone at all. And it was, it's, it's a constant journey. One of Millersville's epic values is inclusion, and being a part of the LGBTQ plus community here has given Ryan the capabilities to flourish. Forget all of your fears, because if anyone, and, and anyone who has known me for more than like a year or two, they, they, they know that like when I came here, I was a very shy individual. I was very like, you know, not like, not very expressive of myself. And, you know, three years later, I'm the most expressive person I think I've ever been. Overall, this Valentine's season, Ryan has not only found love for everyone, but has also found love for himself.